Good morning. Today lesson 79. Today we're going to learn a slide puzzle. Uh, again, it's created by Stuart Gert. Okay. And <clears throat> you can download the code and look at yourself and see how it look like. It's, it's not a long program. And again, I try to explain as much as I can. Again, this is just a um, declare variable. You already know this, right? In the beginning, today is lesson 79, which means that you already learned about almost three months already in, in about this program. So declare a variable you speak or know by heart by now. This is just tells you margin, up and down key, the main function, the global variable this is set up so everybody can use it. Initialize, set the clock, set the surface, display the caption, this, the font you are using. And this is just uh, another uh, button that you, you gonna do it. Reset new game shop, look at the width, look at that. This is gonna display on the screen. And generate a new puzzle, go on another function, right? And get starting point, shop, board, and the same other board list the move that make a sort of configuration. This is where you start it, um, the, the move into this array and go to the while loop, right? Basically. And do an if during a board, check for a quick and do a for, for loop. For loop basically this is where you get the event gonna happen, the mouse down then you're going to do get spot click and then go to the if we set it based on the collide point position and then you can generate a new puzzle from here else you're going to do something on here it's reset animation and else in here you're going to get the blank position and then do an if else a bunch of this and under L, if this based on the key, key up, you're gonna look around. If this is violent move for all, all this key. And you have A, D, W, S. This is like what's the, it's like up and out, borrow key. Sometimes you don't use up and key, you can use A, D, W, S, working the same thing. And then you can tra translate to left right up and down which is nice and then you just do a uh, slide animation here and then do make a move append it and then display and update it that's it this is the main thing right here and then function terminate you just gonna quit the program this check for the quit and get the starting board function do a bunch of for for loop here nested for loop okay and that's it return the board after that get a blank position do for loop again and that and then an if you already know this pro a program then you know how the for loop make the function has already been uh, taught so get a position a bunch of if okay and this is the function passing the board and the move and you're going to return based upon uh, the, the value key up, down, there. See, it is all, 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 meaning one of this move is true, it's going to return it. And get a random number and based upon whatever the, the, the key you use. Yeah, you, it's not a value move, you're going to remove the down, remove the up. You move the right, you move the left, and get the random in return. And get the laptop title. Get the spot click. Do a bunch of for loop. And then return it. Draw the tie passing this value. And then you can get the function, get the top title. And this is you draw the rectangle. And you get you render it, and you get the rectangle again, 
and then center it, and then you display it. Bliss means display it, right? Bliss it from the past. Make a text. You gener gener generate the text, and then you return it. And you can the function drawing bunch of for if for and if and then you could look assign the height the weight and then draw it display it based upon the value you're passing to so animation passing one two three four okay do a bunch of if and then you can draw the board make a copy of it and then get the position and then you're going to draw it based upon this value so do a bunch of for loop here and do an if this is where you're going to display it and this is generate a new puzzle from the beginning and a bunch of for loop and return it we set it do a for loop and then do a if and that's it. The program is quite long, but again, uh, it's, what I don't, it's about 300 lines, so it's, it's, it's okay. All right, let's run the program, see how it looks like, okay? There you go. This program is already sub for for you to do it. Uh, new game. Try to make it. Uh, you make it. You move over here, right? You can uh, over there, over here, move it down, move this thing down, move over here, move this thing to the top, and you make sure you line it up. Okay, that's all. When you line it up, this is where you uh, you finish. Fin uh, you solve the puzzle. Let's say I put a new game. Yeah, you start one, two, three, four, five, six, and then until fifteen. You line it up, and if you line it up correctly. You won the game. That's all. All right. See you next time. Uh, it's about almost eight minutes. So, all right. Bye now.